Luego, pues, vino mi madre. My brothers, who were younger than me, tried to calm me. Then my mother came, and we went into the street when the second tremor happened. The glass panes from the street started to fall on top of us. I was really afraid then. I had an image of the earthquake, like it was a monster for me. I was always afraid to go indoors at home. Cuidar means take care in both Spanish and Portuguese. We aim to change disaster management through the voices of children and young people. I didn't know there would be a flood, so all my toys were on the floor and stuff. And I had really bad dreams about it. I just feel scared because I don't want it to flood again. Emergency plans need to be culturally sensitive and reflect how they will be used in different communities and different places. But we found that children and young people are missing from these plans. More importantly, we found that many authorities are unaware that children have a right to participate in decisions that affect them and so continue to be excluded. They give guidelines for what you have to do when there's an earthquake. Cover yourself with something, go out into the street, all that. But emotionally, we haven't been given any guidelines or they haven't developed that part. So, what we want to say to the experts is that we want to work with the emotional part as well. Children see their environment in particular ways, so if their insights are taken into account, disaster plans would be more effective. We know this from working with more than 500 children across Europe. We've found that some have great ideas and offer important insight into how to improve planning for their own community and beyond. We children sometimes have ideas that we can give to adults. If you put floodgates down, it won't happen to your house. We never know if we are ready for these disasters, and it's always good to learn more about them. We wanted to influence those who put together disaster plans and show politicians, policy makers and community leaders how to embrace children's knowledge. The project was a collaboration between academics and a major charity, Save the Children. In more than 400 hours of workshops, we listened to the views of children and young people, gathered their ideas and experiences. We've worked with fires. We write what we think on the blackboard. We met the civil protection volunteers. We had our map that we made during the project and we showed them the important places for us, where we meet with our friends, to the schools, and to the places where there are landslides or risk of floods. In Greece, we worked with children who were hard of hearing and others who had visual impairments. Some of the children were fascinated to explore firefighting equipment just with their hands. Hello everyone. We are the sixth year pupils from the Porch Cavella School in Gandesa. Today, we have invited experts and the mayor to explain the project and find solutions and have them listen to what we have to say. Mutual learning events brought together young people and community leaders to exchange ideas in a way that had never happened before. They were able to listen to each other, to understand each other's experience and give value to each other's knowledge. They managed to identify problems, were very demanding and critical, but above all, they have reflected. Today, it was the formal event of our final product. We met the mayor and people of other organisations and discussed the topic we wanted to highlight how to intervene in emergency situations and the knowledge of the risks in our territory. The whole Quida project has been enlightening. That old myth that we want to protect children, we can't tell them bad news, well, it's completely wrong. They are very resilient people and they can learn from knowing about a risk and preparing for a risk.
After three years, with children involved at every stage, we've developed a child-centred disaster management plan for Europe. The plan has three forms, watch, learn and act. Through film, written reports and a set of tools, the insights of young people can now transform disaster planning. Take Care has been a really, really important project um, to help children understand their role in society, to help them to become uh, active citizens. When children experience a disaster or emergency, we know that the impact on them is lasting. And so involving them when we're making plans for their safety, um, helping them become prepared, increasing their resilience, uh, will have a huge impact on children and also the services that we're able to provide. The wildfires tearing through the parched forests of central and northern Portugal have claimed dozens of lives and made many more homeless. In the long term, we hope this new plan will help create a safer and more secure society. Disasters are on the increase, and if we can implement inclusive emergency planning, lives will be saved.